And here it is, guys. Today it's finally time to welcome you with the all new 2024 model Mercedes AMG GT. The wait is finally over and in today's video I want to give you a full tour of the exterior showing you all the highlights. Afterwards we'll check out the special interior and then last but not least we'll finish it all off with a resume. There are so many changes which I have to highlight and point out so let's get right into it and let me tell you through. The new AMG GT has also changed in its name. It's now called the AMG GT 63, the one we have here in specific because there's multiple engine specs and options coming. This one here is the 63 option coming with the 4 liter V8 bi-turbo, the iconic engine but producing 585 horsepower, 0 to 100 sprint in 3.2 seconds. But as we already know from the new SL, the car also comes with the 55 V8 AMG engine giving us 476 horsepower. It's exactly the same engine but with less Power. The VMAX of the 63 GT is at 315 kph. I can't wait to drive it and listen to the sound. I'm so hyped and excited about that. The car actually grew. It's so much longer now. Just look at the side view of this. In total, the car is now 18 centimeters longer than the predecessor GT. I mean, what a humongous change in its wheelbase. It's grew by seven centimeters. Uh, it's exactly the same wheelbase as we have with the SL. But it's not only an SL as a coupe version, it's even more than that. And that's what I'm going to tell you in today's video. This car also, for the first time ever, comes with an all-wheel drive system with a 4Matic Plus system. Back in the days, the GT used to be all the time rear-wheel drive, but this one being 4Matic Plus now, we also even have the drift mode with the new GT, but we'll tell you more about that when we drive it in the future. Hopefully, we'll tell you more about my driving impressions and we'll be talking you through then. And I also think that with the new GT, there will be multiple engine options coming, as I mentioned, the 63, the 55, but I can also also imagine that we will be seeing maybe 43 53 model of the GT exactly the same like an SL with a four cylinder and I also think we will be seeing a GT 63 e performance so the hybrid version of the V8 can't wait to show you that maybe in the future it's not official yet but we'll see let me talk about the exterior here in specific we have the V8 63 coming with the high-tech silver exterior paint we also have the night package we have the carbon package and we have the aero package so literally fully specced out and let's get it on and let's start with the walk around. First things first, just look at the new face in front of the new GT. There are so many changes, but there's already a few things which we already know. First change comes with the headlights. Now you can see we have the new eyes of the new AMG GT coming with three single lines here. Digital like headlight unit is always stock and comes from factory from AMG. Then when we talk about the grill, right now this one is finished in this dark chrome as we have the night package. But as you can already see, it's literally comparable to what we've seen with the GT Black Series. So we have some design elements coming from that as well. We have the main grill here, as you can see, which is finished in black. And then down here, we have a few more intakes making the front look even wider. It's so special in my eyes. You can see that. Really cool. We have the Affalterbach AMG crest here and then the Mercedes-Benz star in the front. We have the front camera as well. The front bumper also here with the side skirt. Super nice. We have a lot of air coming in. We have the front splitter finished in carbon fiber as we have the carbon fiber package. And the car is just so special. Just look at it. All in all, the GT is now extremely wide in the front and also in the back. We also have, as I mentioned, the 4 Matic Plus system. Here's an all-wheel drive GT now, and there's just so much I need to mention. First things first, I mean, just keep in mind, this is a base GT. So what can we expect next from AMG? Imagine they show us the GTS or GTC or GTR or even the GT Black Series. Can't wait to show you that in the future, but I mean already the base of the GT is so, just so special and crazy looking. Let me just talk you through. You can see the amazing bodywork. Also, when you just look at the side, 
the way they shaped it now it's just so much different to a gt back in the days let me just show you a gt here and then compare it with the side view of the new gt they've just moved the a pillar the entire greenhouse you can see the new shoulders the entire setup here making the car now extremely practical because the new gt actually comes as a two plus two seater we'll be showing you the interior in a minute let me just focus on the wheels because these are also super special it's a new amg wheel setup coming with the new gt and i've seen this on a few spy shots back in the days they look so good i really like them it's five spoke with a y shape it's just a new design here also with the carbon ceramic brakes and now just look at the wheel setup back in the days since we had a rear wheel drive we had mainly 20 inches in the front and 21 in the back or 19 in the front and 20 in the back this time we have 21 inches here in the front and in the back also 21 inches and the tire size is 295 so we have a crazy setup here on the side here extremely wide v8 by turbo 4 matic plus badge and also this side part here making the car a bit more wider actually just a fake part just for the looks and i think this comes with the aero package on the side here everything's finished in carbon fiber we have seamless door handles with the new gt as soon as you swipe they pop out really cool the side mirrors is finished in carbon fiber you can already see that we have the panoramic roof here inside the gt super special for me and then you have these shoulders this is just so special the way they shaped it is just so good looking in the back again we have 21 inches these multi-spoke wheels look absolutely great here we have 305 size tires carbon ceramic brakes setup looks absolutely great and then we have the new rear of the amg gt and here we have it the new AMG GT and then also you can see the badge already GT63 and the new rear is completely re-identified and rechanged. and as we have the aero package also with the additional spoiler here it's just so special let me just give you a closer look on the rear tail lights first we have these three LEDs here but these are actually like 3D you can see that it's not just a single part or layer it's literally like in 3D cool effect which we have here with the tail lights. We have the AMG on the Mercedes-Benz and the GT63 badge here for the GT two door crazy the rear spoiler as we have the carbon package is finished in carbon fiber if you don't go with the aero package you have the normal adjustable spoiler which we knew from the predecessor you can adjust it i think in five positions it's crazy can't wait to show you that in addition to that we have this connecting part here again finished in black gloss this is actually something they've been using the recent cars lately and i actually don't mind it looks pretty okay but how do you guys like it on a new gt the rear diffuser is full finished in carbon fiber as we have the carbon fiber package the exhaust tips are finished in black as we have the nike package it looks absolutely fantastic i really like the rear how do you guys like it just look at it especially with the wider body here with the wide arches with the shoulders extremely muscular with the exterior paint here well chosen i really like it but now let's talk about the inside and here we have it the new amg gt interior and also the AMG Mercedes light animation here coming with the digital like headlight unit. How do you guys like the interior? Talking about the interior, as I mentioned, we have a two plus two seat now. As soon as you lift this seat up, you have plus two seats here in the back. There is not a lot of space. It's actually comparable to what we've seen with the SL already, but it's a super nice and practical feature to have, especially when you have kids to put them here in the back. Which is so cool to have that with the new GT. There's also something that I have to show you before I continue with the interior. Opening up the trunk from down here. That's how trunk lid moves up. And then guys, just look how much space we have here. Inside an AMG GT. 250 liters of trunk space. This is so impressive. They have made the GT one of the most practical sports cars ever built. And then if you need more space and you have no people sitting right there, you just push this button, watch this. And you have more space inside an AMG GT. This is the most practical sports car I've ever seen. Just look, you can literally fit so much things in the back of your GT now. It's absolutely special and crazy. You can put that back down here. There we go and let's talk about the interior now let me just jump right inside 
So we are now right inside the all new AMG GT interior and this is actually comparable to what we've already seen with the new AMG SL. I mean, as you guys know, AMG developed the SL fully in-house and it was already rumors in the room that they will be taking the, the whole base also for the new GT and that's what they actually did. And when you talk about the interior, it's literally the same. The only thing that is not the same, I guess, is one second, here also with the steering wheel buttons. The only thing that you can't do here is you can't tilt this uh, display, that's it. Actually, in the inside is literally an SL. Also, we have the sport seats here, the AMG ones, bucket seats, really cool full leather finish. I really don't get why they put bright Alcantara here on top. You can also close the sunroof, it's pretty nice. It's not electronical or something. As I mentioned, two plus two seat, you can put the seat back down and then you can have two more people, actually children sit in the back. We have the ambient colors in the inside, illuminated air vents, and a super nice and gorgeous looking steering wheel. Talking about the steering wheel, flat bottom AMG steering wheel, Dynamica finish, carbon fiber finish, and then there's something I really don't like already about the new GT is, oh, why would you do that? Why? What's the thing about this? Plastic airbag cover inside an AMG GT? Are you kidding me? Is that a joke? Please tell me it's a joke. Why would you do that? I mean, for real, why would you do that? You have a super special and luxurious interior. Everything is here finished in either leather, Alcantara or carbon fiber. And then you have this stupid airbag cover. Honestly, AMG, you can do so much better. Why would you do that? Anyways, the entire infotainment and setup is exactly the same as we have with the SL. And here you can also see a 3D rendering of the car. There we go. Also with another wheel setup and the rear exhaust tips finished in chrome. So special. Also here, this comes from factory panoramic roof. Also with the rear tail lights. Super cool. What do you guys think? All the time when I look at the 3D renderings, it's just so different than what I actually see here. Also with the chrome grill. It's something I really like to do. Anyways, we have the SL specific display here in front of us. We have the normal display. We have some space in here. Two cup holders, wireless charging, USB-C charger ports. Right over here, we have a few more. USB-C charger ports, wireless charging whatever, uh, Bomester speaker covers and all in all. What do you think about the new GT, actually SL interior? It's literally an SL interior inside here. There's nothing special about the GT actually in the inside, to be honest, which makes me kind of sad, but honestly, I actually don't mind. It's, it's an okay interior. I wasn't even a big fan of the SL interior and I think they could have done so much better inside the GT, but I mean, it's still the same base, so copy pasting it makes sense, but I would have done it the other way around. But anyways, head up display. And then you can also see, you can adjust also the front here, arrow improving it. I think you can do that by the steering wheel buttons. One second, let me, no, I don't think you can do that. Anyways, you also have the exhaust button here. You can literally do that also from the, um, here, yeah, from the system. Switch it from sport, sport plus, and then race mode. You have the exhaust button here, the suspension settings also with the slippery and I really love the design here. What do you guys think about it? Please chat in the comment section below. So that's it basically for today's video guys. What do you think about the all new 2024 model Mercedes AMG GT and the GT63 here in specific? What do you think about the new name? What do you think about the new car? What do you think about the two plus two seats? And what do you think about the all wheel drive? Please share it all in the comment section below. I mean, there's not a lot left when talking about the GT DNA, which I am really sad about, especially when talking about the drive unit being an all-wheel drive now. But still, we have the iconic V8. We have an extremely practical car, and I think we should give it a chance. It looks absolutely fantastic, and as I mentioned, it's just a GT. Keep that in mind. I mean, 
What can we expect from AMG? What are they going to build on base of the GT? That's what I'm super excited and extremely hyped to see in the future. Driving will be soon, so stay tuned for that. We'll be also talking about the price and all the other details. Hope you enjoyed today's videos. In my eyes, AMG just built one of the most practical super sport cars, daily drivers ever made. It's just extremely special. Can't wait to show you more about this car. Please share your comments in the comment section below. Already looking forward to see you all again. And before I finish it off, here we also have the key. I will be back.